How's it going, guys? Connor here, AK Ninja, back again, your coach of your Golden State Meteors. This is week four, three of the PGL, and we are facing Coach Sharp Dress Gaming and the Minnesota Wild Charge. Now, this is an interesting team. We are facing T Tar back to back, interesting enough. He actually has regular T Tar, but we'll get we'll dive more into his team. Um, interesting enough, speed is going to be very, very, very important in this game, all right? Um, being able to know what he's going to do and what he's going to bring. But this is his team. I apologize. I have I uh, super stupid sour patch kids. I've uh, bitten my lip multiple times now, and so it's obviously called a canker sore. And oh my, does it hurt so much! So I apologize if uh, I talk weird and such. But the first mon he could be bringing is Mega Venusaur. Now this is one fat mother trucker. This thing gets the thick fat ability, which has the damage of fire and ice type moves. Half of its weaknesses. It is for its super effective uh, weak against ice, fire, psychic, flying. Which obviously, uh, half of those are affected by the thick fat, which thus makes it just a regular damage output. If, any if anything, it makes it even worse than a normal hit. Um, so it's very, very thick. With that 123 base defense, 120 base special defense, and honestly has a one great special attack in base 122. Now, it does hit that 80 speed tier, which is not too shabby. Um, but what this thing can do, obviously, it's just going to sit in front of you and just be super bulky. It has recovery option and synthesis, and I fully expect him to bring this thing. Uh, it just matches up very well against our team uh, and can just bop a lot of our teammates. Next up, we do have the regular T-Tar, one of his Z captains, um, which we already know. I already explained what T-Tar can bring uh, last match. I don't think he's going to bring it this time around like uh, Ayuku did. Uh, and so, hence, I didn't bring a Sandvale uh, Glyscore set this time around. I didn't bring something niche-worthy, even though it didn't really help me out in Week 2, which is a shame. Um, Yachi Berry almost helped out, though. Uh, but what this thing, obviously, uh, brings a Dragon Dance set. It's very bulky. Uh, it's your Rock Setter. can hit you with a Super Power. Dark, uh, dark Pulse, you want to run Special. There's all sorts of things you can run. Uh, special, Physical. Oh, more, than not, more than often than not, you want to run Special. You run a Physical D-Dance set. Uh, more often than not, it will be a Physical Attacker. Uh, but next up, we got Rotom Wash, who is definitely the best Rotom form of them all. Uh, only that one weakness to grass, obviously, because it's immune to ground because of its levitate ability other than 1,000 arrows. It's got that 107 base defense and special defense and a 105 base special attack. Brings things like Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, uh, any sort of HP. It gets to Fog to get rid of the hazards. Uh, otherwise, that is kind of it. That's all it's going to really bring. So, obviously, you're going to see uh, if he needs to bring hazard removal for webs or rocks. Um, but as you can see... Uh, it's actually going to be his second fastest Pokemon on the team at a base 86. His fastest is Porygon Z at a base 90. So we can, the name of the game in terms of our prep is we are outspeeding a lot of things as long as they're not Scarfed. But next up we got Chandelure, who is also a Trick Room Setter. So this team is a very Trick Room heavy team, seeing that it is so darn slow. He has two Trick Room Setters, um, one of them being Chandelure, a very strong special attacker at a 145 base special attack. It's a choice spec, so it can be very, very... You can run that thing with choice specs and it can be very, very scary under Trick Room. Um, and it has some decent bulk to it, but obviously it's a fire ghost typing. Um, fire helps with thing, uh, a lot of my Pokemon there, so definitely... And ghost typing. Uh, so definitely expect that thing. We got Registeel, who's just a super bulky mount, the 150 uh, base defense and special defense. It can take so many hits. Uh, it can actually run a pretty good attacking set uh, if you want to, but man, that thing is just a wall. Uh, we got Dragalge, a uh, Boys and Dragon, uh, base 123 special defense. It's super slow. I'm not entirely sure what this thing could bring, to be totally honest with you. Uh, but it's super slow. But it does have some relatively good bulk to it. Obviously, you could run a Draco Meteor uh, Sludge Wave kind of set. It's going to be a special attacker. Fully expect that. We got Beware, who is a 125 base attack and 120 base HP. But its special defense is atrocious, and so is its speed. Um, obviously, it can take very hits very well with that fluffy ability, uh, but obviously, it is super weak to fire. Uh, we got Gramble with the 120 base attack and pretty much 60 across the board, except for 90 and uh, 90 in HP. Obviously, an intimidate, uh, so it can uh, help get intimidate off of any of our physical attackers. Um, 
But that's honestly, uh, obviously, it's fair typing. We got Cresselia, another Trick Room setter. Very, very fat Pokemon with a 130 base special defense and 120 defense and HP. Has decently speed with 85, but again, I fully expect this thing to be a Trick Room setter uh, and to help Chandelure just bop my entire team. Probably should have brought uh, a water. I should have brought all of them all to wall that thing. It's okay, it's okay. But obviously, it does get recovery options in Moonlight. Uh, it's setup options in Calm Mine. It can hit you with Moonblast, Psychic. Uh, it can sub on you, Toxic you. A lot of things it can do. And it can take any sort of knockoff very well. We got PZ, who can run a nasty plot. So that could be very scary with the 135 base special attack. His fastest Pokemon on the team at a base 90. Uh, run Tri Attack, T Bolt, Shadow Bolt, Ice Beam. Uh, for the most part, any sort of Porygon coverage it gets. Uh, so definitely probably his best Pokemon. It is one of his Z captains. So that's why I don't expect this thing to be Scarf. I expect this thing to be Nasty Plot, uh, Z user for the most part. And then we got Marowak, a uh, Rock Setter, 110 base defense, uh, kind of atrocious attack stat. So uh, honestly, did not expect this thing at all. It's not the greatest Pokemon ever. Uh, Alola Marowak is so much better. Um, but what do I expect him to bring? I kind of expect him to bring Mega Venusaur, Rotom Moss, Chandelure, uh, Cresselia, Porygon Z, uh, maybe Registeel, uh, but that's kind of the team I'm fully expecting him to bring. I don't expect him to bring T-Tar whatsoever. But let's go ahead and let's dive into what our team is going to be. So first up, let's go ahead and get this ready. We got Edgy Burb, first time bringing him for the season. Uh, we got the Star Raptor. It, this thing can just hit so many things so hard. The only things that are going to be able to resist is, like, obviously, Chandelure is going to be immune to, like, it's fighting. So, CC, uh, Quick Attack. So, we're bringing CC, Brave Bird, Quick Attack, and U-Turn. Quick Attack is just nice to get any sort of uh, priority. So, if he does run into Trick Room, you can still run to Banded, Quick Attack, and just get off a stab. Priority, super important. U-Turn is obviously for momentum. Brave Bird is to help with Mega Venusaur. Banded Mega Venusaur destroys that thing. Reckless, obviously, boosts Brave Bird. Um... Obviously, we are weak to rocks, and obviously, uh, Staraptor is one of my defoggers. But we have a decent amount of defoggers, uh, surprisingly enough. Close combat is for the Reggie Steel, uh, if he wants to try and wall this thing with Reggie Steel. Uh, and then anything can really hit Rotom Launch very well. Uh, close combat hits T Tar as well, and Porygon Z. But again, this thing is just to hit anything hard. Again, his really only switch ins to this are Chandelure and Reggie Steel. And that is going to be, yeah, yeah, that is going to be it. Otherwise, this thing is just going to destroy things with choice bands. So I'm very excited to use this thing. And uh, EVs wise, we got 76 HP, 252 attack, 180 speed, and a jolly nature. Now, the nice thing about these EVs is it does hit 157, base, uh, 157 speed, as you can see. Which means it outspeeds any Pokemon as long as it's not Scarf and it's not Trick Room. Because Porygon Z hits at a max 156. So we are going to be able to outspeed any Pokemon as long as it's not Scarf. And again, barring any Trick Room. Um, which obviously speed is going to be very important in this game. So next up, we got, once again, Tenebris the Darkrai. We are bringing the same set we did last week, interesting enough. Focus Blast, Dark Pulse, Psychic, and Nasty Plot. Focus, uh, and we're bringing Fighting Z again, Timid. Uh, we have 196 base, uh, 196 e speed EVs, 252 special attacks, 60 HP, and Timid Nature. With a 187 speed, we outspeed a plus one T-Tar. Plus one T-Tar will hit 186 max. So we're going to be able to outspeed one plus, a plus one T-Tar. Obviously any sort of Scarf Mon that is going to be at a base 60 as well, so that'll be super nice. Uh, Fighting Z guarantees no miss. And honestly, that's why I wish I did not waste Fighting Z against Buzzwool. Because then I would have been able to just demolish um, Weavile and not risk the Focus Miss. Because Focus Miss sucks so much. And uh, um, would have been able to guarantee the kill on that. And then Darkrai could have just swept from there. Uh, because it would have just bopped a Greninja. Would have bopped Greninja and that would have been super nice. Uh, but that was super unfortunate. Again, that that was all unfortunate, those events. A uh, Nasty Plot is going to be able to set up on any sort of switch in. Again, we're going to be able to speed... We're gonna hit Cresselia pretty hard. I almost brought Tarkinium Z because we cannot Oko a Cresselia no matter its build, but a Tarkinium Z does have a good chance of Okoing it. But again, Fighting Z was just too important for things like Registeel. Uh, Registeel especially and T-Tar. But Registeel was the biggest threat, and I'm like, you know what? I need to be able to hit this thing very, very, very hard. Uh, so that's why I brought Fighting Z. And Psychic is also for... Um, uh, Dark Ball's gonna be nice for Chandelure, and, but Psychic is gonna be for things like... 
uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, beware. Mega Venusaur especially, gonna, we're bringing so much coverage to face Mega Venusaur, it's gonna be a big threat, obviously, with that thick fat ability, so definitely need to be able to bop that thing. Uh, third up, we're bringing Stargate SG-1, the Volcanium, back again with the similar set, again, HP Grass, Steam Eruption, Flamethrower, and, uh, Modest Nature. Uh, we're bringing the Expert Belt, and we're bringing Substitute. Now, Flame Charge, obviously, is not as important in terms of speed, because, uh, how our speed is, though, is we have 102 base, uh, speed EVs, uh, 154 HP, and 252 Special Attack, which is unfortunate. So we hit a 103 speed, which is gonna outspeed, uh, like an 8... 8 EV invested Mega Venusaur, but I don't expect any sort of speed EVs in this thing because it's going to be super bulky. Um, but unfortunately, we should have done a little bit more EVs so that we could outspeed a non invested Cresselia at a 105 uh, because Cresselia does hit 105, we're hitting 103, so Cresselia is going to naturally outspeed us unless it's a minus speed nature. If, he hit, if he's a minus speed nature, that lets us know that he is a Trick Room Mon. Um, but that's going to be super unfortunate. And honestly, I actually, when I built this, I believe I actually made it outspeed Cresselia on purpose because of Trick Room. But I couldn't tell you 100%. HP Grass is strictly for that Rotom Wash. We don't want to be able to be walled by Rotom Wash and allow a free Volt Switch or any of this sort. So we did bring HP Grass. Uh, again, Substitute is just nice uh, to just... If he decides you want to switch out, we sub. We have a free sub. We can hit anything hard. If he wants to go into Rotom Wash, we can hit it with an HP Grass, no matter it, bolt switching out and that kind of thing. Um, so our fourth Mon, we got... Aminette, our first time bringing in this season, the Shiny Confagoras with Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Pain Split. Now, I know what you're thinking. I really wanted to bring T-Spikes. I really wanted to. That's, that's what, kind of why I originally wanted to bring this thing. However, all of his walls are immune. Mega Venusaur absorbs it. Uh, Rotom Wash has a levitate ability. Registeel is immune to the poison. Cresselia is, has levitate. The only thing is T-Tar and T-Tar, again, I'm not expecting this thing whatsoever. So T-Spikes were super unimportant. Because he, he has two poison types to absorb it, and his other walls are completely immune to it, which is super important. So Pain Split is its kind of recovery kind of option. Uh, we're running 252 HP, 240 special attack, and 16 special defense. I can't, I don't know what those EVs were for specifically. We got the Calm Nature with plus special defense. Um, but it helps deal with uh, Porygon Z, Tri-Attack. It can wall a lot of things very well. Uh, it's just a bulky mod. Because obviously I want to try and bring a wall each week. And Cofagoras was the option I want to bring just to help wall uh, Porygon Z. Because I don't really expect Shadow Ball. I don't expect Shadow Ball whatsoever. So this is, this is why I brought Aminette. Um, and Aminette's the name of the... Uh, Queen Mummy from uh, the movie, the new Mummy. But uh, Psychic helps hit Mega Venusaur. Uh, Shadow Ball helps with Chandelure. Energy Ball for Rotom Wash. Uh, T Tar. All that kind of jazz. And uh, so I definitely was excited to use Aminette this week. So next up, we have with our fifth Mon, Dunder Mifflin again. Now we're bringing a Life Orb set. Adamant, we have uh, 220 uh, speed EVs, 36 HP, and 252 attack. Adamant Nature. Again, we hit 157 speed, which means we outspeed any Mon that is not Scarfed. Uh, Sacred Sword is for any Mon like T-Tar, Registeel, uh, Porygon Z. Life Orb is to help us hit anything super hard. We're bringing Psycho Cut for that Mega Venusaur specifically. We definitely And uh, Dragology is nice, but Mega Venusaur 100% uh, because we need to be able to bop that thing 100%. We need that coverage because Poisons. I've dealt with the Poison Wall before in Garbodor in another league. And I decided not to bring Psycho Cut, and it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It hurt me in the long run because I subbed up on Garbodor, and Garbodor obviously was able to wall on me because I didn't have anything to hit it hard. Knock Off is to help with Chandelure, Cresselia, and get rid of any items. Leaf Blade is nice for T-Tar, Rotom Wash, and uh, hit anything hard, to be honest with you. Uh, so Dunder Muffin is going to be super important, just hitting things super hard, hitting that Mega Venusaur super hard, because that Mega Venusaur is going to be especially defensive bulky. I don't think he's going to bring defensive bulk whatsoever on that Mega Venusaur, because we're so special heavy of a team. And our last Mon is going to be Laddie Boeing. She's back. Back again, and we're bringing Psy Shock Shadow Ball Defog Recover. This is our Defogger because rocks hurt Staraptor and Volcanion so much, especially Staraptor. Staraptor is kind of our win option there, uh, so we don't want a Staraptor to be super weakened because of rocks. 
Uh, so I was originally going to bring Gliscor, but uh, Gliscor, it just wasn't going to be that important in this game. Uh, so yeah, Fog is super important to cover just for recovery options. And then Shadow Ball Sight Shock hits everything else relatively well. Um, Shadow Ball is for things like Cresselia, Chandelure, Psy Shock. We're bringing Psy Shock instead of Psychic because of Mega Venusaur being more special bulky. I fully expect it, again, predict this thing to be special bulky because of how special heavy our team is. Which is why I am bringing Psy Shock instead of Psychic. And, uh, Psy Shock does also help for hit things with Ortho Wash. I expect that thing to possibly be something like AV. It could be leftovers. But, uh, it helps just hit anything that's gonna be AV because we're so special heavy. Uh, but that's going to be my team. Uh, oh, and the EVs, 212 speed, 252 special attack, 44 HP. We are modest nature, so we can hit things hard. Uh, the speed, once again, we hit 157. We are outspeeding any Pokemon as long as it's not Scarf. I thought about bringing a Scarf Mon, but honestly, a Scarf Mon was just going to be a waste of an item uh, because I, I fully expect a Trick Room team. I wanted to bring Taunt. Uh, so what I was originally going to bring was Gliscor with a Defog, Taunt, EQ, and Brave Bird or something like that. No, not Brave Bird. Uh, Sky Attack with the Power Herb uh, and Sand Veil. Interesting enough. Um, but reason why I didn't is because I realized Lighting Boeing is going to be so much of a better option to deal with Mega Venusaur than anything else and be able to have a recovery option and recover and be able to hit things super hard. Uh, but I really wanted to bring Taunt for Cresselia or Chandelure uh, trying to Trick Room. Uh, but it, again, I have things to deal with Trick Room. I'm not too concerned. Volcanion is going to be super potent in Trick Room. And so is uh, Cathagoras. But uh, yeah, that's the team I'm going to be bringing, guys. Should be super excited for that match tomorrow against Sharp Dress Gaming. Definitely go check out his channel. Uh, his link will be in the description below. As, long, uh, as, uh, as well as the rest of the coaches in the league. But be excited for Golden State Mayors, and I will catch y'all later. Peace.